Hey everyone, happy Friday. I'm back with the final video devotion for this week. We'll plan to be back on Monday with a new focus. But this week we've been talking about educators. That includes our teachers from school, but it also includes all the folks who have pitched in during this quarantine to help keep your mind sharp. This Sunday will include a segment in our worship service highlighting all the education that's been going on at home. So you can look forward to that hopefully when you tune in to us this Sunday morning. Like the other video devotions this week, we're focusing on scriptures that focus on the importance of teaching and learning. Today, I'm in Paul's letter to the Colossians, chapter 3, starting in verse 12 and continuing through verse 17. Now, this passage is not directly about teaching. Paul is writing to the Christian believers in the area around the city of Colossae, which included neighboring cities too, so this letter was meant to travel around. And based on the rest of the letter, it seems like Paul was dealing with an issue in which these new Christians were looking to the stars to figure out their destiny. And this was a common belief system in the ancient Mediterranean world, and we call it astrology. Paul was attempting to lead them toward trusting fully in Jesus Christ instead of the stars. Paul speaks about practicing things like compassion, humility, and patience, which are all things that Jesus embodied. And he invites the Colossians to wear these virtues like clothing. So what does all this have to do with teaching, you might wonder? Well, from the obvious point uh, that Paul was discipling new believers, Paul was also saying in verse 16, Let the word of Christ dwell within you richly. Teach and admonish one another in all wisdom. And with gratitude in your hearts, sing psalms, hymns, and spiritual songs to God. The point here is to fully live a lifestyle that imitates Jesus. At the time that Paul wrote this, new Christian communities were popping up everywhere in a lot of different places, uh, despite the fact that the Roman Empire was persecuting them. Paul was teaching these new believers to live like Jesus, who quietly and gracefully endured the hatred of his persecutors. You know what? It worked. The church, and I mean the church with a capital C, exploded in great numbers. And that proves that if we also live like Jesus did, we can lead more people to know God's great love. We can be the teachers. That's my challenge for you today. Read Colossians 3, 12 through 17 with your families, and then talk about the things that help share the love of Jesus with others, and the things that don't help. What can you change about your lifestyle so that you imitate Jesus more closely? I hope you'll tune in to worship with us this Sunday at 11 a.m. You can tune in on Fox 50 or you can stream our service from our website or on Facebook Live. But until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, stay home, and find a friend with whom you can share this video devotion. We'll see you soon.